If you think you should never wrestle for free, in today's video, I'm gonna convince you otherwise. Ready? I'm Mike Quackenbush, and this is Till We Make It. Right here on my channel, I make videos for fellow professional wrestlers at every single stage of their career. Whether you're just starting out in your apprentice phase, in the meaty middle of a long career, or enjoying veteran status in the autumn of your career while looking for ways to stay fresh and relevant, no matter where you're at, I'm here for you. And if you're down with that, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and join the Till We Make It tribe. Subscribe right now. I know plenty of working pros out there who espouse the belief that a wrestler should never take a bump for free. Or another way of thinking of that same basic idea is this. If you do something well, don't ever do it for free. And that is a nice sentiment. And under ideal conditions, it might be an excellent guideline for your life or your career. Unfortunately, starting out your career as a professional wrestler on the independent circuit does not take place under ideal conditions, nor has it for decades now. And let me give you a very specific example to draw into perfect clarity what I'm talking about. I broke into pro wrestling right here in my home state of Pennsylvania. It's also where the majority of my work has taken place. The training center that I own, the Wrestle Factory, it's right here in Pennsylvania. And the state of Pennsylvania, along with New Jersey and New York, form a tri-state region of the United States in which there are more professional wrestlers than in any other geographic region of the country. More than you'll find down in Texas, which is a much larger area. More than you'll find on the west coast of the country in California. And what does that mean? It means that there are tons and tons of wrestlers out there looking for opportunities looking for slots on cards where they can be hired. And what might an average wrestling card on the independent circuit look like? Maybe eight bouts in all. It could be six singles matches and two tag matches, just for the sake of an example. And that means six singles matches give you 12 wrestlers, and to fill up two tags, which are four wrestlers each, you need eight. 20 wrestlers altogether can populate an entire card. So what we'll call Ideal conditions would be, if there are exactly 20 slots on a card, there are just 20 working pros looking to fill them. That's ideal. Supply and demand work beautifully together. 20 openings, 20 working pros, problem solved. The reality is, instead of there being 20 wrestlers looking to fill those 20 spots, there are 40, or 80, or 200. This is less than ideal conditions. So if there are 80 professional wrestlers who all wanna fill those 20 spots on a card, how do you make an inroad into a market that is that crowded? When the supply of wrestlers so outstrips the demand on a card, how do you find opportunity? You need a strategy. Maybe under ideal conditions, a wrestler never has to take a bump for free. But the reality of the modern independent circuit is there aren't ideal conditions. And as more and more nascent wrestlers, new talent, come onto the independent circuit, it only further overstuffs the supply of available wrestlers, but this does nothing to increase the demand for pro wrestlers. A wrestling organization that puts eight matches on a card isn't suddenly going to expand to 10 matches just because there are more wrestlers that live in that region. That isn't how it works. And so I endorse the idea of wrestling for free provided you are strategic about it and you need to approach these non-paid bookings as a public relations exercise for your brand. Before I give you a couple strategic points to consider, please take a second right now and leave a like a palooza down below. Thanks for doing that. Up first, ask yourself this before accepting a booking attached to no pay. 
Will this expose me to a new or bigger audience? And if so, I say, go for it. But as quickly as possible, you need to leverage this newfound exposure that you are enjoying to do three things. Increase the reach of your professional network, increase your online following, and increase your merchandise sales. And that means as soon as you are afforded the opportunity, you're going to start hustling at the merch table, you're going to increase meaningful engagement with fans whenever possible, and you are going to network as hard as you can before and after the event with people who can help elevate your career to the next level. The second strategic point you have to consider is this. Will this non-paid booking provide you with a platform to build out your marketing materials? You know what I mean by that? As an independent contractor, as a freelancer working on the independent circuit of wrestling, you need marketing materials for your brand to get yourself those paying gigs. You got to advertise. And what kind of marketing materials do pro wrestlers need? They need clear, dynamic action photos and bite-sized shareable content of clips in front of lively audiences to populate social media feeds on Instagram or on TikTok. Multimedia, like photos or videos that have been taken in a dimly lit venue in front of a dozen or so apathetic fans who are more preoccupied with what's going on on their phones than with what's going on in the ring will not help sell you to bigger wrestling promotions. And many of the bigger opportunities in your career will require you to show a demo reel. The clips that are going to make up that demo reel, they should be all over your social media. And that's why you want to strategically accept bookings with organizations that can provide you with high quality multimedia photos and videos after your match is done. That stuff is worth its weight in gold when opening up new opportunities for your career and is ultimately worth more than any $50 or $100 payday would be anyhow. Third, and maybe most importantly of all, so listen carefully, do not be content to work for free forever because that is the absence of a strategy. And I need you to be strategic in this marketing effort, in this public relations exercise. If you are willing to accept unpaid bookings, do it to expose your brand to new and bigger audiences while accumulating the kind of multimedia, the kind of marketing material you will need eventually to sell yourself at a higher level. And by doing this strategically, following the guidelines I've just laid out for you in today's video, you can elevate your career to a level in which you will consistently enjoy great paydays. But when you do reach that level, do me a favor. Don't turn into that person in the locker room who turns around and then shames others for accepting non-paying work. You know what? When I was starting out, I was rarely, if ever, paid for years. And more occasions than I'd care to admit, if I got paid at all, I got handed an Abe Lincoln, a $5 bill for my efforts. The reality is we all start somewhere. This is a roll call of all my awesome patrons, Master Tier, Troubadour Tier, and Apprentice Tier. Help me reach my goal. I want to keep this a weekly channel, and if having access to this information is valuable to you, help me on my way to reaching 100 patrons by the end of this year. I won't make it without your help. Follow the link appearing on screen right now. It looks like a letter P inside of a square. Follow it to my Patreon page. Take a look at what is offered. Tons and tons of exclusive material you'll never see here on the channel. I could really use your support. and We would love to have you as part of our community.